All right, they're debating back and forth a little bit. Welcome on Sin and 2 is being hovered over. But I mean, that is usually the pick here. Yeah, it looks like right. that's where we're going. So Kutsa, I believe, is a lob player, if I'm not looks mistaken. A little, a little frustrated, a little salty coming into it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Like, come on, let's get Lux Lux Falcon. All right, these are the characters I recognize them for. And Lux Seven's been playing Captain Falcon since Smash Four. Yeah, right? I actually haven't seen him in this game, so I want didn't want to take the wild guess that was still on Falcon, but it is going to be the bronze kneecap. Yeah. And Captain Falcon got a little bit of help in the last patch, so maybe got Lux Seven. Yeah, maybe Lux Seven just a little bit, a little happy. And it's, you know, we've had some notable results coming out in the meta game too with some Captain Falcon. Mars throwing it out on occasion. Oh yeah, yeah. Fatality's doing pretty well, yeah. but. Neither of them are here. This is an Arcadian. And Lux7 says, I want to be the best Falcon in this Arcadian right now, and I'm going to prove it by taking down Kusa right now. And on the flip side of it, Rob is definitely a beast. You get off stage, you get side special. That's all she wrote. So let's see what kind of matchup we're looking for. Of course, Rob having a little bit of that more projectile game and Captain Falcon super rush down speed. The burst options are always on point. Yeah, it can be very dangerous for both of them at different times in the match. Great read on the back air tries to down air him out of it, but he's not going to find it. Down throw for the back air, but gets punished with the back air of Kusa's. Yeah, just maybe a little aggressive, over aggressive on Lux Evans' part. Kusa just playing that Rob game, making his opponent jump into his own back air. Right, great tech chase with the back air right there. Has Kusa on the ledge. What's going to be the option? Goes for the jabs, but actually not connecting the second hit. And I'm surprised Kusa has been able to control the matchup like he has because, you know, I know that as a Raw player, he's definitely going to be trying to get that gyro out to kind of help mitigate the burst options coming out from Lux 7, but he just seems to be doing it raw. Just aerials in the air, no problem contesting it directly. Yeah, and you know, Rob's in air is a very big hitbox. It's very difficult for Falcon to actually challenge sometimes. And actually, SDing, I think he expected to get grabbed by the Falcon dive and tried to, to attack it. Yeah, an air dive way too low. What happens, man? Got react. There's the up special uh, all day, just up tilt up special, cleaning up the stock, Lux 7 a little bit on the ropes. Oh, and oh, Stomson! Oh, he's going for it! And he, great up here right there, and he oh. SDs with the side B, that's not what you want to see. Oh, uh, Sakurai Y, that had to be a buffer out, I'm pretty sure. He's probably, probably trying to up special, but was holding like... I think he wanted to B reverse his up special mm. likely, so he would grab the ledge, because he was facing away from it, which right. means he wouldn't snap to ledge. Right. Um, but I think he just messed up the input and went with side B. Yeah, especially when you're getting hit by a multi-hit move. Trying In the same way, you try to tech the situation down there, getting hit by a multi-missile drop, recovery inputs as well. So, you know, unfortunate overall. But Luck7 was behind, so it's not like he uh, threw away a huge lead. Let's see he's able to rebound, make some adjustments, maybe play a little more passive-aggressive, and try to even this out. Going over to, you know, uh, more open stage. Yeah, gonna give Falcon a lot of room uh, to work around. Falcon doesn't really kill off the top, so the you know tall blast zone of Kalos will be affecting Kusa way more than Lux Seven. I feel almost uh, narrowly dodges that down, uh, down uh, aerial down air or down air situation. Very very close. Gets the back Ooh. air and the pressure is already building right back up. Yeah, great setup right there for Kusa. Yeah, not really having to do any true setup work, but the gyro's out. That's when you know it's Rob's playground. The Jarrah's out, all kinds of setup time. Drag down up here. Kusa's bringing out all the tools for this arcade and just catches out the jump with the up smash. Yeah, raw up smash call out. Just as I know you're jumping right here, but a stomp into the knee. Not going to kill from across the stage, but a great answer here for Lux7 if he wants to bring himself back into this game. Yeah, very good counter grab option coming out from Lux7 in that neutral situation. Especially with the gyro there, you know, just kind of waiting it out. It's close. Both players would love to get a little bit of a lead, especially Lux7 being behind the game. Comeback has to start somewhere. Might as well make it start now. Trying to pick up a back air or anything to put away the stock. I Side special. <laughs> and uh, just grabs him. I feel like Lux7 had a punish yeah, there. Yeah, he had a little bit of he could hit any Hit a button, my friend. Hit a button. You know, I, a back throw. In that situation, though, I feel like you're a little scared. You know, you don't quite know how big Rob's up yeah. smash is it might scoop you up when you aren't ready for it so we just want to play it safe not run into it but i feel like you have to be willing to go for something like right. that. right just that analysis or paralysis by analysis yeah i'm, I'm like super on the bunga i'm just like i'm gonna throw out a side special in that situation and one of us is gonna die you know but unfortunately let's see how much how costly it's gonna end up being 
so far. Only one damage taken, so not a huge problem. And an air dodge right yeah. there for Kusa. I think he was trying to Z catch the, the gyro. gyro, but again, a miss input gonna cost him his stock. Nair one into the knee, <laughs> just zero, does quick 27%. Very clean early string, and it's coming right back out. Uh, Lock seven, making him have it. Oh. oh, wow, the tech got the lingering hit of the forward special instead of the full meaty. Oh, man, air dodge. Yeah, if, I, if I'm Lock seven, I'd be super, like, shaking after that exchange. I just got taken for a ride by Captain Problem. Yeah, I mean, Lock seven really pulling ahead right now. 135 to 79, even after that shaky first stock, he's really starting to pull ahead. Tilt up air, not enough to kill at this point. Maybe that taller uh, ceiling you're talking about coming into play just a little bit. Yeah, I think that's going to be a real big deal. Downward throw of the gyro facing in means it sets up for the forward smash, but just calls out the jump with an up and Lux7 evening it back up. Yeah, we're tied, we're coming in. Let's see if uh, Lux7's able to make a game three. Love a game three between these two, they're playing it so even. But these aerial, this aerial pressure, wow, got a good read on the down air too. Just not able to connect it. All right, Kusa getting that tech, goes for the forward air, but doesn't quite position himself correctly. And now Lux7 calling out the jumps with up airs again. These up airs have been huge for Lux7. Goes for the stomp, but misses. No punish on the, on it from Kusa. He was stuck grabbing the ledge. Yeah, it's just a, it's a slugfest at this point. Both players just going in. Let's see, you know, it's always been a matter of if Lux7 can get the wheels turning, big damage happens. And that's Figure it. getting the wheels turning, Robocopter offstage. And that's going to be the 2-0 for Kusa. You know, it, it looked like uh, Lux7 was really starting to catch up, but sometimes 